What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. Which should be that right there. I think we're ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, Nayrock! Yeah, hell yeah! Yes! Please do me a, a favor, kindly introduce yourself, uh, plug and promote anything, and let us know where you are about in the world right now. Bile, the lead vocalist, composer, arranger, uh, currently in my apartment in Denver, Colorado. Uh, I'm Braden, I'm guitarist and bassist, and I do a little bit of vocals. And I'm also in an apartment in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> Hell yeah. And, well, uh, yeah, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and then please plug and promote uh, any any and every social media link, whatever you want to throw out, singles released recently, Sone, Echoes, whatever you guys want to talk about real quick before we dive in. Yeah, uh, we just came out with uh, Sona, um, our cover of Rammstein. Uh, Echoes from a Distant Past. We just did a music video for that, and we have more coming on the way. Um, you can find us on TikTok, Instagram, fucking everything. <laughs> we are absolutely everywhere. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's easier to find us on other social media platforms. I still haven't figured out how to change the uh, URL link on Facebook. <laughs> you just call me. Call me on 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 Sunday, and uh, I'll walk you through it. And we'll we'll get it knocked out. Gotcha, gotcha. How did how did you two meet? Um, it's kind of a, it's not a super interesting story. Um, there's this app called Bandmix, and I was on there one day, and you know I, I like to play with people. That's kind of my thing. I like to, you know, jam out and have fun. And um, Bandmix is kind of split between two people. You have people who are there putting themselves out to try and get people, but there's uh, kind of a, a pay-to-meet people kind of thing on there. And so um, some the other group of people is people who put their phone numbers in their bios, um, and so you can actually text them and talk to them without... So, so Bandmix is kind of like a like if I have like a riff, I go on there, and then someone's like, oh, I play drums, Let's let's mixed together essentially and then they can add drums to that riff and like start a process of a song is that kind of how it works it's not, yeah it's not so much of a sense of like you're like sending songs out to people as much of you are sending out like you're you're making a profile of yourself it's kind of like facebook but you're only trying to find people to play with or find bands to play with or or find like venues to play with or such and um you find other people on there if you want to play and you can message them and, and meet up and play. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. And um, Jesse put his phone number in there. And so I was able to text him. And uh, from the moment we met, I knew right away that this was going to be a good thing. You know, him and I have a very similar energy and we get along really, really well. You know, you know, from the moment we met, it felt like we'd been best friends for years. And so it's, you know, if BFF, yeah, everything that's awesome. Came really, really that's awesome. Stuff. And then how, how does the name Nayrock get formed and what does that mean? Oh God. Um, before Narok, um, Oh, I've been saying it wrong Nirok. every time. So it's Narok. Yeah, you have, but you know, I'm too polite to correct. But it's okay. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've heard worse pronunciations. Yeah, I feel like it's one of those names where unless you hear the band actually pronounce it, you're usually going to say it wrong. So it's, it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's okay. So our previous name was Eterna, which explains the Facebook URL. Uh, um, then I found out from a, um, a previous member of ours that there was uh, 13 other bands that had the same name. And that's when I was like, okay, I don't want to be that dick. And, you know, copyright that name and take it from other bands. So I just I went through a year and a half long process of trying to find a name that one, wasn't taken, two, wasn't too similar to anything else, and three, was somewhat easy to pronounce. Obviously, I failed on three. 
Um, <laughs> so Narok, I got I got um, the idea of Ragnarok in my head. Of course, that was taken. So I decided to shorten it and fuck up the word. <laughs> Just uh, the last part of uh, Narok and change the uh, some of the letters. Like there's the ash symbol, then there's the apostrophe above the R. And yeah, I mean it's nothing too special, but you know. I just like to know the the creation. What what kind of mask do you have on? Who who made that mask? That thing is wicked cool. Um, I oh god, I can't remember the name of the artist, but there's this uh, German guy, well out of Germany um that made this for me um it's a blind mask but you can still see kind of like through it and everything um i've got a few more on the way that is like full like with everything on it that uh we're going to be using for our upcoming photo shoots and promos and well shit like that um definitely concerts i'm all about having a mask on i love it it's pretty cool it's better than having face paint and then my hair sticking to my face the whole time I think that's, that's, that's like crazy detailed too i'm looking at it over here that thing and i like the the symbol right in the middle that thing is dope yeah <laughs> thanks man yeah, but yeah. all credit goes to the artist and at some point i'll have to tag him and yeah, yeah please do uh when when you guys were deciding on a cover what what led you to pick uh uh the the ramstein song and is there was there any other possibilities for a cover that you ruled out well we already did uh one rammstein song before with our our friends in england uh death pigeon um the song uh Muther. and there was always since i was a teenager always three songs that i wanted to do of rammstein to um kind of evoke my german heritage and there were three songs that i know my grandfather absolutely loved so it was muther sauna and well eventually people are going to find out after watching this um in the next coming months the last german rammstein cover song is uh mein Herz Brent. so that's why <laughs> got you hell yeah and then hold up hold up the hot sauce that that you guys brought for 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 today and uh before before we get to that that section nice little teacup of hot sauce right there too. it is it's a chinese it's a little chinese teacup i'm gonna i'm gonna grab some hot sauce over here i've got some ipa uh mixed beer hot sauce i guess you'd say but the cool thing is uh and we're gonna still ask questions but i want to i want to see if you can get the trivia right obviously if we're, if we're suffering on hot sauce then it makes it a little more fun but uh, what movie or TV show, if if Vile and, and Brayden, if you guys could agree on one or the other, a movie or a TV show that you've seen the most, or if I look up trivia on this, there's no way I could stump you because it's you've seen it the most. There's just no way. Oh God, I don't know what series have you watched? Wait, Futurama. <laughs> oh God, it's got to be Futurama for me. Yeah, I've never watched like I've never said that. I hate you. You're out. <laughs> what about a movie? What about a, is there a movie you guys could agree on? Because to me, a, a show is harder. But I can go with Futurama. That's totally fine. But a movie is a movie. A show might have like 60, 70 episodes. I could pull anything. It's it's your call though. All right, you pick the movie. Why don't we do okay, one and one? Twister. Why don't we do one and one? We'll do one Futurama and Braden while while we're doing the trivia and you're. Because I'm gonna stump you. You're suffering from hot sauce. You're like, I got it. I'm not going through this again. So you'll pick. You'll pick the movie. But uh, so I'll look up some Futurama trivia. Give me just a second. But really quick, tell us. Tell us about what you guys have in store for 2024 that we're allowed to Ooh. know about. I know some stuff like can't be revealed. But what are you allowed to tell us that we can look forward to? Oh shit. Uh, we do have a lot coming up. Fucking magnitude of shit coming. <laughs> Hell yeah, excellent. Uh, we have excellent. our first full length album coming out this summer. Uh, we have two more original releases planned, with the last one being the heaviest song that we have ever done. Um, cool. In between the, you know, to kind of satiate our fans, 
thirst for our music. Uh, we're going to come out with more collaborations, a few more covers, and then the album drops. We have um, a full-length music video coming out for Sona, actually. <laughs> Um, that's going to be featuring quite a bit of the people that were involved in that project. Uh, we have merch that is finally happening. Um, so ex oh, I'm so damn excited for that. Um, oh, God. A possible tour towards the end of the year with awesome some of tour. our friends in the Northwest. Are you, uh, are you allowed to say where you might be traveling on the tour if it happens? Let's say anywhere between Colorado, Wisconsin, to Montana. So you're going up. A few states in the Midwest. Is... Yeah, like an isosceles. Well, not isosceles, the yeah. right triangle. But the possibility might be granted more towards a, a, an actual like reality once we actually release the album, once we get a little yep. closer towards there. Like, it's, it's a possibility right now. But it's... Who's, who's doing the production, mixing, mixing, and mastering on the album? Um, that has been a mix between myself and my good friend Alex Rapetti of Severed Angels out of uh, the Northeast. Um, he's been working with us. He, he worked with us on State of Decay, Disturbia, um, Echoes, and Sona. Um, he's freaking brilliant. Oh, my God. He's able to be patient with me. <laughs> um because I, I arrange everything, I put all the stuff together, and, and you know I kind of use I use Band Lab. I mean it's not the greatest, but I'm not changing it until after the band, uh, the album's released. And then I send everything off to Alex, and then he and I, for hours on end every day, we just send things back and forth, a bunch of ideas, and it's been been such an excellent process to work with him he is such a good guy and i recommend him to anybody that wants to have um a producer or audio engineer that is patient <laughs> very patient and also very very um <clears throat> what is it um fast with his work you know you send something off to him and it's random drink a couple <laughs> you know, weeks that you're getting some results back and he's he's very proficient with what he, cool. he does. We got a we got a, a mystery mystery arm delivered a, a soda or something. That's awesome. Hell yeah. You got a, a little assistant back there. That's cool. Yeah, <laughs> one of my many, many aliens. <laughs> well I, my job is to stump you on the Futurama trivia, so let's give it a shot. All right. In oh. season three of Futurama the last episode, there's somebody that goes into a crowd in Central Park Lake and challenges Earth. That person's name is Bubblegum. But Bubblegum, when he's challenging Earth, reveals his first name. It is a he. What is Bubblegum's first name? At the last episode of Futurama, season three, the episode is called Time Keeps on Slipping. Oh, bubblegum tape. No, that it's something bubblegum. Oh God, I know it's the Harlem Globetrotters. Uh, it's not a bubblegum tape. That's not what it says on my end. I'm gonna call it a stump. Shit. It says <laughs> e Ethan bubblegum. Oh well. Ethan, Don't worry, I'm doing the hot sauce with you. It's a party. We're all hanging out. Enjoy the hot sauce. I'll do it with you. Here we go. Woo! Don't be shy, Braden. Get get down on it. Oh god. <laughs> oh. Right. Shit. While okay, we're suffering, okay. can you reveal? I know that a lot of times you you guys have a lot of features on songs. Can you reveal any features we may not know about for a future release? Name drop just one or two artists. Ooh. Could be anybody. Oh. Uh Talwar. Um Steam Slicer. And one that's been in the works for months. Death Pigeon. I would love to do something with Mojo and Anger uh, not Anger Overdose, but yes, well Anger Overdose too. But um 
in Circle Throne, I would love to see how our styles merge. Um, that would be epic. That would be really cool. That would be freaking fucking epic. I feel like that's a match made in heaven. That that should definitely go down. Mojo Mojo's the man, too. He kills it every time he jumps on a track. He does. He does. Oh, yeah. Brayden, what movie did you think about during this process where I could look up a movie at the same time? Shoot. ADHD brain happened. I want to say... I'm kind of torn. I got, like, two inches in mind. I'm going to go with Tombstone. Tombstone! Okay. Oh, yeah. Probably the best Western ever. Dude, fuck yeah. Dude, Val Kilmer, best fucking depiction of Doc Holliday in history. That is... Top-notch fucking acting right there. I I totally you agree. I, I love Tombstone. And I've always... I, I've never seen this, but I saw that Val Kilmer re, did... It wasn't Tombstone 2, but he did like a Wyatt Earp spinoff where he played Wyatt Earp. Yerp? Werp? I don't know how to pronounce his last name. But it was like, it was like the same movie, but like a B version, and he was Kurt Russell's character. Which is kind of strange. Oh, I've never heard of that before. That is that's fun love. That's that, it's kind of strange, that's right? Here. <laughs> I have to fucking I have to look that up. That's some that's some cool shit. When it when I it's when it's a when it's not music day and and let's say it's not hang out with family, don't have to go to the nine to five jobs. What just makes you guys happy? Do you have any collectibles, hobbies, anything you do on on a non music day? Uh, well, I was thinking about it. I don't know why I chose Futurama because Star Trek The Next Generation is my (laughs) go-to. Why the hell that didn't pop up in my brain? I don't know, but, um, oh God, I play a lot of games. Um, I'm classically trained at the piano. Um, that's mm. music related, idiot. He's talking about non-music related. Well, I'm, you do do. That's about it. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm kind of boring. I definitely feel that. I'm very boring, too. Other than playing guitar, I don't do very much either. Um, we do go stargazing. We do do a little bit of stargazing. Um, when it's a little bit fucking warmer out, it's too chilly to do that these days. But uh, Like tell um, us telescope style or, or no? Uh, no, because um, where we live in Denver, we're in the Broomfield area. So all we have to do is just travel a little bit outside and it gets dark enough and you're in frame. <laughs> Get out of here. Fucking smoking a three foot bong. Um, so you want to get high? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you're a towel. Um, the fuck was I talking about? <laughs> About the, in Denver, why you can't use telescopes. Yeah, uh, so we go out to kind of a public land area, and so we're kind of on uneven ground, and setting up telescopes is a little bit of a challenge, but um, I got one. I can totally bring it out. It's just I'm kind of a lazy bastard, and I uh, same. I get off work, and I come over here, and uh, we just kind of do a mix of vegging out and a little bit of music, and kind of just go from there, but... It gets so dark that it's really no need to have a telescope because you could just see the sky and all the stars. Yeah, it's not a dark sky area, but um, yeah, it is. That is something that we do like to do. Just enjoy a little bit of peace and quiet from this giant ass city. Pretty much. Who doesn't enjoy peace and quiet? I can dig that for sure. Uh, but Brayden, now is your chance right now to to not get stumped. But I'm gonna get you. Here we go. <laughs> In the movie Tombstone, when Doc Holliday kills Johnny Ringo, he's okay. wearing something unusual. What is he wearing that's unusual when he kills Johnny Ringo? I want to say it's the police badge. That is correct! Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah! No! You did not have to do the hot sauce. I will do it. Damn it! Brayden, you have seen Tombstone a couple of times. All right. Chug it again. Chug it. Motherfucker. Chug it. Whew. Big old dent. Big old dent put into that. I'm your Huckleberry. IPA hot sauce right there. Johnny Ringo. Bye. You look like somebody just walked on your grave. (laughs) 
Do y'all have any 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 uh, any phobias or anything that freaks you out? Something scares you, <laughs> terrifies you? Spiders. Spiders. Fuck spiders. Any kind. Well, okay. Jeff, I don't like spiders, spiders either. Daddy long legs are fine. As long as they're not near me, they're fine. Anything else, they can go fuck themselves. Fucking those wispy black widows, those hairy tarantulas. Uh uh. Fuck off. I don't mm. want to see them. <laughs> yeah, no way. That's my baby. Other than that, I'm pretty good. What about you? I have a problem with, like, I don't know. I'm drawn to things that I'm afraid of. Like, uh, I know a lot of, I don't know the actual term for it, but a lot of people are afraid of, like, uh, the deep ocean. I want it to so bad to be on a ship in the middle of the ocean. You and want to be. Yeah, why the fuck not? Dude, why? Because it scares me. I like things that scare me. I like things that freak me the fuck out. No, that's not freak out. That's like mental torment right there. Why the hell would you ever want to do that? Ew. God damn. It's a yacht. No. It's a yacht. We're safe. I think I'm, a mas- I think I'm masochistic. I don't know. It's a yacht. We're, yeah, we're it's safe. It's a kink. <laughs> when can we expect the, the next single? Um, Within... Within the next few months, we don't have a really set time right now just because we, um, my brother's in the military and we just had him back for Christmas and I'm going out to see him for his graduation here in next month. So tell him thank you for his service, by the way, please. Oh, yeah, definitely. Thank you. Um, yeah, but, uh, he's, uh, so we're gonna, my time schedule is a little messed up right now, but as soon as we're back to normal, it's. It's it's back to normal schedule and have a hitting, so yep. don't have a really set time right now. But we're we're working on getting a set time and working on getting that done. When it does when it does get back to normal, um, it, we're going to be releasing a lot. It's going to be one after another after another after another. Mostly of the covers, obviously. Um, we are going to be re uh, revamping some of our older stuff. Um, the Hunt is going to be on the new album, uh, the upcoming album. Uh, so is Requiem and State of Decay. We are going to be bringing that into the same level as Echoes. And um, so those songs are going to be, yeah, they're going to, there's going to be like a single version and the, the stuff that's already there. And then there's going to be the album version, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. it does a different yeah. mix and maybe it's longer than the single version and stuff like that i get it a little more fleshed out sounds a little bit more co- like yeah because he with the rest of the stuff on the album it doesn't sound like such an outlier when i released uh when i released requiem that is raw that was never mastered that was all me just uh piano cellos violin and vocals um that was our number one song for almost a whole year and Echoes is doing so damn well now that it's just blown everything out of all of our other releases out of the water. It hit the Spotify algorithm, so it's just sailing on through with the views and shit. That's awesome! Congratulations! That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, it's, it's still I kind of I got to <laughs> myself sometimes to to kind of you know remind myself of this is you know the real thing you know that this is actually going as, you know as well as it is you know our songs are doing as well as they are hard work pays very, off very, hard work pays off i love to see it oh yeah is there anything that we did not discuss today before we let you guys go that you want to just chat about real quick broccoli i like broccoli i like broccoli with cheese on it melted cheese like nacho cheese on I don't it. Know. That was the first thing that came to mind. I love broccoli. I like eating broccoli raw. I just dip it in a little bit of ranch and eat it. I saw this thing where people were dipping their broccoli in chocolate, <laughs> having hot covered broccoli. The fuck? Yeah, it sounds weird. I've never tried it. I'm not sure if it's good or not. The people who tried it said it was really, really good, but I'm very, very. I'm happy. adding. I'm adding this to the wheel Monday. Broccoli <laughs> with chocolate sauce. I must know. I must know if it's any good. I'd- doesn't sound good, but you never know. Science works weird sometimes with acidities. Yeah. I mean, and... I, broccoli's, I mean, it has a very specific taste, but it's also very bland, too. So it might complement chocolate very well, but it also might, you know, 
might go opposite directions and really fuck with your brain. I don't know. So, yeah. I do want to do a quick shout out to everyone who's been there for us, collabed with us, uh, everything. Um, Mark Thomas of Disaster Theory, who does all of our artwork now. Um, obviously, Mojo from Encircled Throne, he does all of our videos. Mama's Maiden Studio has done one of our videos. Um, obviously, Talwar, we've done two songs with them now. Death Pigeon, for they were one of the first ones to believe in us and gave me the... Well, between him and Rob from Anger Overdose, they're the one that gave us the whole alien intergalactic overlord title. I don't know. <laughs> it's been a while. So, um, obviously, Christina and Greg from Box and Sticks, uh, Atonal Ascent, um, Steam Slicer, who we're going to be doing more shit with, and Elizabeth Weaver, who we're doing more shit with because her voice, oh my God. What about Vogue, Vogue Sticks? Box and Sticks? Yeah, I see. I see them in chat every now and then, and I noticed that they were on. Uh, yeah, Sane. Yeah, it was. Um, we are. I'm. I'm very close to Christina and Greg. We're constantly trolling um, the Vox and Guest uh, podcast that they have going on, where they interview people too, as well. And um, I like to invade and troll yeah. and be just a downright annoying asshole sometimes yeah. but you know we need it <laughs> they, were, they were also our first interview too they they helped propel us forward a little yeah. bit too very much in our you know early stages oh too, my god just, like, just you know at that when we interviewed them i think it was before state of decay and understanding had released and so they were just going off of requiem and the hunt and, and mooter and mooter and so it was all you know stuff you know before me and so you know, for them to, you know, do as long of an interview as they did, you know, to, to, you know, be there for us from the beginning, that was really special. Yeah, before the mask, when my face paint was all in my hair and in my mouth and everything, oh it, was, my God. it was fun. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I am forgetting one other person who helped us get to where we are now, and that is um, my friend Laurent in Australia with the Fourth Watch. Uh, we used to be on their Twitch stream a lot, but my job now every day, you know, they're 12 hours. There's a 12 hour difference between us, but um, I still love him dearly. He um, he actually did the um, the producing for our cover of Understanding with Tawar. And yeah, I really hope I'm not forgetting anybody because uh, I love every single fucking person that we do. We, yeah. we, deal well, with on a daily know, basis yeah and well i mean everybody who in, in that kind of circle who supported us and everybody who, who we who had to help us you know we're very supportive of them but we're also very supportive of everybody who's listened to our music and continue to listen to your music and you know get our numbers as high as they are and put us where we are you know we wouldn't be where we are without everybody listening to us and supporting us you know that's not yeah. in that circle you know everybody at home you know that's just you know what puts our stuff on throughout the day while they're at work or, you know, at whenever, you know, we're very appreciative of them too. We want to shout out everybody. I mean, hell, we're appreciative of you too. I mean, yeah, this is an awesome match made in heaven for both of us, mostly for us. <laughs> and um, so this has been a very, very good, very, very, this has been very, very much fun. I am very honored. Yeah. I'm honored that you guys spent the time with me and, and took some time out of your day to do this. And I, I'm going to put this on YouTube tomorrow morning, if that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Why not? Hell yeah. Well, then we look forward to the album coming later this year. Good luck on the uh, the the Midwest up north run that, that we talked about earlier. That's awesome. Congratulations. And uh, just enjoy the rest of your day. We really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Take Thank it easy, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, Narak! Give me a hell yeah! I'll see you. Thanks so much.